everyone welcome back to my channel budget with sass so on this one i am now doing the um my june budget with me and i'm also going to stuff my uh joint account just because my i don't want my stuffing one to be too long so i'm going to do split my stuffing from joint and my normal one today um so let's quickly do this where are we at so we are, May is over, yay, into a new month. So I've just done a new month as normal, um, just to kind of have a look what I've got going on in the month, which helps me actually budget my, um, like work out what, what envelopes needs what, because the more that I've got going on that's like going out or whatever, I might need extra in there, or if I've got some time to do some shopping, like the uniform or for baby, then it's where I practice how I prioritize so for June I've got a family dinner with my partner's family for his mum's birthday but we have the money in the joint account for that so that's nothing I have to budget for myself I'm going to a theme park with my family um I say theme park it's not like Alton Towers theme park it's just like a little one close to where we used to live um and we all used to go when we were kids so it was really cute um for taking our kids there so we'll be doing that um I obviously can't go on the ride so it's just a cheap just a ticket for my little one and we will take a picnic and stuff so we've got that coming up so I need to make sure fun has enough money for her ticket which is about 23 pound um, I'm having a barbecue at my house where my family comes. My partner's um, friend has has ordered us a bouncy castle because he has a friend who got a great discount for us. So we've got that to come. Um, we've got loads of family and friends coming over on that day. So that meant that my food budget needed to go up. So this is what I mean by this is how I make sure I know that I've got enough in my budget for the things that are going on. I don't think I've got anything else, but who knows? You never know. Right, I've got my 1,000 subscriber giveaway coming up during June. So once again, thank you so much, everyone, for subscribing, commenting, liking my videos. Really appreciate it. I was so excited to get to that milestone. So thank you again. And I will be doing something for you all for that. Uh, it will be international as well. I'll make sure I can post it. So um, if it's something physical. <laughs> so um, that will be coming up. Another thing is a goal for this month. I want to finalise maternity leave budget. The only reason I haven't done it yet is because we um, we bought our new windows and doors over a year ago now. Um, so it's obviously a large expense on our joint accounts. So that will come to an end the May after I, I go on maternity leave. So it's when my six month full pay ends. So I'm very lucky to get six months full pay on my maternity leave so we just need to try and get the final balance of that and we just haven't had a moment to get it so once we've got that it's going to be what I can do for the first six months and then the next three months and so on and say for the three months that I will not have any pay so yeah it's kind of a, a weird way of trying to um budget for it because we've got things that change throughout the year that I'm off so I will share how I've done that um, and hopefully maybe somebody can take something from that if they are trying to do their maternity leave budget. Um, and then I need to now, probably closer to the end of June, I need to then now think about the finance for my finance options for the other half of my billing payment. So as you know, I've been doing my car um, saving challenges, which is I gave myself a budget of £2,000, but my actual balloon payment is £4,500. I knew that I, it was too much a squeeze in my budget to try and save the whole four and a half. So I'm trying to save £2,000 and then find a no interest uh, finance option. So if that is a new credit card with 0% on purchases for a longer period of time, if I can refinance the car with um, the car place. Um, including the finance options I've got now, which is 0%. Um, it was a really good offer when I got it. If not, then what's the next cheapest one? Is it a loan? Is it my current credit card, which is at 9% and so on? I just want to work out what's the cheapest, what's available. Um, and then I'm going to go with that and get myself prepared for my car being paid. So that's kind of my goals and I'll keep sharing those throughout the month. Uh, my monthly budget so my monthly budget I have done so this is if you're new um, to budgeting or to my channel I do this page I work out what our direct debits are that are coming out of our joint account and whatever's left I um, I leave a buffer in there and then I take out what's the 
lots of rest to then stuff. Um, it's a little bit higher this month because um, we've got some money to take out for baby. Um, I'll do the same with my salary. I've paid my unbudgeted spend from the previous months first, which is why it's a bit lower than I would normally have um, here. Um, so yeah, so I've got that to stuff. And then my child benefit, which comes in later on in the month that I use to manage where it's going to go. And then other is usually if I sell bags or um, I haven't done my Etsy shop yet because at the moment when I make money through Etsy, I've been buying um, rather bulk stock or equipment. So I've actually been just reinvesting my Etsy back into my shop at the minute. Um, so we're not at a profit at the moment where I can start putting it into my budget. But hopefully one day I will. And thank you all for buying things on there. My best seller is my placeholders. Everybody absolutely loves those. And my original 250 saving challenges. So what I'm going to do is listen to how you guys are purchasing from my shop. And I think the smaller... Um, saving budgets, um, saving challenges, sorry, that I've got their envelope seems to be one of the best sellers. So I'm going to try and make a range of different ones of those for lower budgets. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'll potentially be doing. And then when it gets into profit, it'll go into my budget. Um, it's also child maintenance. Um, sometimes it's child maintenance and sometimes I don't. This month I did receive 185, which is great because that really boosted up my budget. It means I can put some more money back into um, my monthly budget. So that is what we've got coming in. And then I've just gone down and worked out, like I said, what's priority because of things that I've got going on um, and where I need things, money to go. So that's my budget done. This is what helps me know what money's got to go in each. And then I get the money out and I split this between the four weeks and I stuff a little bit each week. So then I keep my stuff in fun. Um, because this is yes to keep me on budget, but I want to still enjoy it. So I don't want to stuff it all on payday. It's boring. So <laughs> I stuff a little bit of the, my savings challenges each week. That is that. And so that's that ready. If you saw my last video, I added up. So this one's a bit, a bit of a chatty one, but it's a beautiful sunny day. It's like having a cup of tea and just chatting with your friends about the bit about budgeting and they enjoy it. Let's face it, my friends, they they enjoy it, but they don't enjoy it as much as we enjoy it. So um, yeah, so my last video, we went through what was in my binders. So what I'm gonna do quickly is update what is the balances of some of my main priorities that I save for, which I do in the front of here. So I don't always show you these bits, I just kind of do it off camera. But I wanted to show you today, um, because if you have one of these, you know, this might be a way that you do it, um, just so I can see that I'm on track to some of my goals that I want to be getting to. So my first goal, as you know, is my car. So um, I want to know how much I'm putting in to my car car envelope in May so sorry um, I've tried to block out the sun because it was it has gotten very bright in here so I'm hoping this video is a little bit clearer than my last video um, but yes yeah, so we are doing car envelopes so this is May or is this April this one's April I don't think it looked right so May, right, so car is now at 939. So my balance is 939, which means the difference from 939 minus 789 is £150 I put in May. So we're getting close to that 2000 balance. Um, obviously, this is in going to be including my penny saving challenge. So what I'll do is I'll keep doing my envelopes and then my last one will be penny savings and then what it was to see if I've got to the 2000. So that's that one. School uniform balance. So uniform is now at 150. So we put 150 there and that means in May I saved 30 pounds. So I've got a goal of 250. Um, my original goal was 300. But if I get 250, I'm happy with that. If I can get to 300, then that's great. And if I don't spend it, I've got a little bit in there in case, you know, she loses something and I have to replace it. Let's face it, these children lose cardigans and all sorts. I hope not because her blazers are very expensive. But we shall see. Um, emergency fund is 355 now. So that's £20 in May. Christmas. It's 270 in there now. 
oops, but 276. Sorry. All right, 270, which means I saved 60 in May. So I should be on track. I had a little bit less in April. So at one point, I'm going to need to put an extra 15 in there. So I keep on top of my goals. So that's how I keep in my head at some point, a little extra needs to go in there. Uh, so my daughter's savings is 135. I didn't put any in there this month, last month, but I will be putting some in this month. And this isn't a goal for the end of the year. It's just an overall goal. I just want to try and get it to 350. Once all of the big things are starting to go and I can get rid of some of those old debts, these type of things will have extra put in. Apple has got 35, so that didn't get anything, but it's okay if I don't get there on those. And then these are just my joint direct debits, how I keep on top of them. Right, so that means that my budget tracker is now up to date and I know where I am on my goals. So yeah, so that is those parts done. And let's go to my joint account stuff in now. So in joint, oh, to make sure I've got it all. I've got 850 here, which is a hundred pounds uh, for baby. And then I've got another hundred pounds or did I take it out? We'll see. Well, I can't remember. I took um, the other 95 pound out and put it in here. So let's count it first and figure it out. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 81. Put that in there. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50. No, so I haven't put the other 95 in here, but that's in my one anyway, because it came from me. So we have got um, £850 here. So... My shopping has gone up to 550. Um, that's an extra 100 pound, mainly because we are doing a barbecue. Um, so we will need more money because we've got a lot of people coming around. But I'm the, my old butchers where I used to live do amazing deals on burgers and sausage and stuff. So I'm gonna get a couple of those packs and then it's just like buns and crisps and stuff. And I might do as, um, a slow cooked curry as well. Um, so then there's like plenty of food throughout the day. So yeah, so 550 in here now. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 40, 50. I'm also going Costco's this month, which means um, we'll have some meat and things. So I'm hoping my shopping budget won't be as much. Um, so 550 into supermarket. I do need to go shopping today, but I haven't thought about how much I might need to take today. But I'll do that in a. I'll do that when I do my normal stuff in to go into my purse. Have a little think. I'm not doing takeout today. Um, groomers is getting 75, and we usually put a little bit in each month. But when we have our barbecue, um, I'll be putting our doggies. Um, into the doggy hotel just because there's lots of children and our smallest dog is not the funnest with little children and food we have a beagle so to make everyone relaxed they're going to the hotel um just for one night so 20 40 60 75 um at the hotel they get rather dirty so the they take them for long walks in like they've got like a massive farm um and it they just come back stinking and covered in dirt and it's even in the sun they just smell so we're gonna do the groomers straight after they come back from the hotel because they stink um house is getting 20 um because we've got a few things to do around the house just to freshen up we need a few bits of paint here and there and um, give it a nice fresh look so we have now got 51 pounds in house so we might need some um we had a level look in our you know like our paint leftovers um We've got some, but I don't know if we're going to have enough. We've got like one main colour that runs through like all our hallway and stuff. We might need to get a new one of those, um, but we shall see. So that's why I need some extra in there. Costco's up 30, like I said, we'll be going there today. 
Um, I just need to work out exactly what I need. I might see if there's any party food in there actually for our barbecue as well. So we'll take a bit of the shopping money with me as well for just for the party food. Right, so Costco's now got, um, I just put 30 in there. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 88 pound. Should be good. Anniversary's getting 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 pounds. I don't know at what point should I stop in anniversary. Um, I think we need to have a conversation about what we want to do, roughly how much it's going to cost, so food and everything, and then give myself a bit of a budget rather than just aimlessly putting money in there at the minute. School activity is getting 20. Uh, so this is for... Um, not school activity as in now, this is for when she, my daughter goes to big school um, in case she wants to um, do anything. I don't want there to be a restriction. I want something that I've got a little bit of money ready for it. 20, 40, 65, 66, 50. She's got um, transition day soon, which means she'll get to you know get a bit of taste style. They'll kind of tell them if they've got... Um, something coming up soon so that would be great so monthly i'm going to put finally put something in our month ahead i'm so excited so i'm going to put 30 in the month ahead um to get that started now our bills we take away like the windows and stuff is quite high so it's going to take us a while to get one month ahead but it will be nice we've opened a savings account so i'll be putting in here and as normal using my placeholders when it gets to a bit more um and i want to do some condensing so Month head's done, and then I'm going to put five pounds in garden and get this up to 20. So I'd only had one half cross and it was annoying me. So garden has got some in there now. So what we should have left is a hundred pounds for baby, which I have now put baby in my short term sinking funds because I didn't want to keep it in my purse as I knew it was going to be growing this month and it was a lot of money to take out with me. Um, so as you can see, we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That's correct. So in baby, I've now got T40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 10, 25. And I'll put some in my, for my money in there as well. So that is coming along. I have done um, my budget. I will share that when I do my maternity leave workout so i've done my budget as in what we need to buy my partner has already bought one thing um and then i tried to give him half and he's like no 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 i'll pay for it so it was um a gate so we've got a really large open living room um that goes into our kitchen and we don't want the dogs to just be able to go absolutely everywhere with little one just because they can be a bit much considering there's two of them. So we've just got like a really large gate that we can close. Um, like if I'm by myself and I just want to pop to the loo, you don't wanna, I don't wanna leave a little one with dogs. So let's put that back. And that is everything for me. So I have now done obviously all of my joint ones. So my next video is finally doing my own stuffing, which I need to do. <laughs> so I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will speak to you all soon. See you later. Bye.